Welcome to day 66 of our school year. Let's go ahead and get that filled in. All right. So let's get down our beginning fraction. We have a total of 180 school days. We're on day 66. Let's find the factors of our numerator of 66. Okay, two factors we always know are 1 and the number itself. So I can write down 1 times 66 and then the commutative property of multiplication I can write down 66 times 1. Now I'm going to go through my divisibility rules in order so that I don't miss any possible factors. So in order after 1 we try 2. The rule for 2 is that it ends in an even number. It does. 6 is even, so 2 is a factor. 2 times 33. 33 times 2. Now we try 3. The rule for 3 is that we add the digits together. 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 is a multiple of 3, so 3 is a factor. 3 times 22. 22 times 3. We try 4, something to check for 4. We look with second factor with 2. Is that even? Is 33 even? No, so 4 won't be a factor. Uh, 60 and 64 and 68 are all multiples of 4, but not 66. We try 5. The rule for 5 is that it ends in a 0 or 5. It ends in a 6, so 5 is not a factor. The rule for 3. 6 is that both 2 and 3 are factors. Both 2 and 3 are, so 6 is. 6 times 11. 11 times 6. Now all we have to do is check the counting numbers or natural numbers between 6 and 11. So we try 7, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. 66 is not in that list, so 7 is not a factor. We try 8, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72. 66 is not in that list, so 8 is not a factor. We try 9, 9 has the same rule as 3. We add the digits together. We get 12, 12 is not a multiple of 9, so 9 is not a factor. We try 10, the rule for 10 is that it ends in a 0. It does not, so 10 is not a factor. We get to 11, and we are done. Also, 11 is prime, so when we've gone in order, in an orderly fashion, and our second factor is prime, we're done. So let's go ahead and list them from least to greatest. 1, 2, 3, 6, 11, 22, 33, 66. So we have eight factors. That is more than two factors. It is composite. All right, that's erasing composite. Now we need to find our greatest common factor. So let's start with our greatest factor of 66. See if that works. Your groups do not have to look like mine. Just make sure there's 66 in each. And you keep your shaded separated from your unshaded. Here I have 54, 64, plus 2 more, 66. I have 48 left over, so 66 did not work. Let's go ahead and try 33. Remember, your groups of 33 do not have to look like mine, but you do need to have 33 in each. I have 24 plus 9. And you have to keep the shaded separated from the unshaded. 31 plus 2. And I 
have 15 left over, so 33 did not work. Let's try 22. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, plus two more. Sixteen plus six. Fourteen plus eight. Two plus twenty. Twenty plus two. 18 plus 4, and 16 plus 6, I have 4 left over, so that means that 22 did not work. Let's try 11. So using decomposition of numbers helps knowing that 8 plus 3 is 11, 4 plus 7 is 11, 5 plus 6 is 11. It can help you get your groups faster. Counting does work, but it just makes it go a little more slowly. 7 plus 4. 8 plus 3, 9 plus 2, and 10 plus 1, 10 plus 1, 9 plus 2, 3 plus 8, 4 plus 7, 5 plus 6, plus 5 and still 4 left over so 11 did not work so let's try groups of 6 I'm going to use 2 times 3 to help me make groups of 6. Your groups do not have to look like mine, but you do have to have 6 in each group and you need to keep your shaded separated from your unshaded. Go ahead and cut off six from each of these rows. three gives me a rectangle with an area of six and none left over finally we found our greatest common factor it is six so let's count up our total groups of six so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty there are 30 groups of 6, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 shaded in. So 11 thirtieths is what we get with our division using our model. Let's see what we get using our algorithm. We're dividing both by groups of 6, because that's what we did. We made everything into groups of 6. So 
we're going to divide 180 into groups of 6. Use that repeated subtraction. And 66 into groups of 6. So let's see. Um, I'm going to try 20 times 6. Because I know it has to be more than 2. And I'm pretty good at multiplying by 2 and by 10. Placeholder moves it over a place. 2 times 6 is 12. Numbers the same, zeros again, more on top, no need to stop. Oh, and that's just 10 times 6. 10 times 6 is 60. Numbers the same, zeros again. Add these partial quotients. 20 plus 10 is 30. So here, 10 plus 6, I'm sorry, 10 times 6 is 60. More on top, no need to stop. Numbers the same, zeros again. And then that's just 1 times 6. 1 times 6, numbers the same, zeros again. Add our partial quotients. 10 plus 1 is 11. We still need to check. Divisor times quotient plus remainder. Divisor times quotient plus remainder. Since our remainder is 0 for both, the identity property of addition says when you add 0, it stays the same. We don't need to take the time to add 0. 6 groups of 0 is 0. 6 groups of 3 tens is 18 tens. 6 groups of 1 is 6. 6 groups of 10 is 6 tens. 66, that matches our dividend up here. So that checks. 180 matches our dividend up here. So that checks. That means our numerator is definitely 11. And our denominator is definitely 30. All right, let's go ahead and fill in our data collection page. We're in trimester two now, week two. We had no school yesterday for Veterans Day. Today is 11, 12, 19 for some reason. On the last Friday, I said two. And today is 11 30th of the school year. Go ahead and get out your number line. We did groups of six. So the last one we have is 7 30th. And then 8 30th is equivalent to 12 45th, 16 60th, 24 90th, and 4 15th is the simplest form. 9 30th is equivalent to 18 60th, 27 90th. 6 twentieths and 3 tenths is the simplest form. 10 thirtieths is equivalent to 12 36, 15 45ths, 30 ninetieths, and its simplest form is 1 third, or the equivalent fraction in lowest terms. And then today is 11 thirtieths. There is no, oops, 11. There are no numbers below it. This is our simplest form, equivalent fraction in lowest terms. But there is an equivalent fraction in 3 and 2, because 3 is a common factor and 2 is a common factor. All right, let's go ahead and put our number line away, erase your worksheet, and thank you for joining me.